welcome to this week's episode of Magoo's Corner. I'm your host, Trevor Gregg. We're going to go through Division 2 reserves for Round 10. And starting off, Squash West Lakes and Broadview. Um, we're 13, 8, 86 to 4, 7, 31. Um, straight out of the bat, Sposh came out with the uh, kicking three goals to Broadview's two points, and then it just continued on from there. And Broadview really didn't have a say in it. So, looking at the goal scorers for Sposh was Parham with three, the same with Mason, uh, Milicevic with two, and a whole host of others kicking singles. And then we've got Parham, Perry, and Milicevic as the better players. Looking across at Broadview, we have Mukaka. With uh, one each to Cregan, Ahern and Sheridan. And the better players were Ferguson, Cregan and Felstead. So uh, currently at the moment, Broadview not having a, having a great run sitting in fifth. Um, you would have thought that they'd played a little bit better than that. Um, especially against the side of uh, Smosh who are currently sitting in seventh position at the moment. Next game, Foss Camden hosted St Peter's Old Collegians um, out at Camden Oval. And it was some 13-11, 89 to 5-5, 35. Whitford kicked four, McNamara and Tui Watts with two apiece. And then we've got the better players being Parkins, Whitford and McDonald. And for St. Peter's, Fort with two, Cook, Robbie and Finlay. And the better players were Finlay, Rollins and Forbes. Next game, Old Ignatians uh, hosted Portland at Hunter Park. And continuing on, and just not just not having that season, but they're being a little bit more competitive. Um, this and the past few weeks. In saying that, 13, 15, 93 to 3, 2, 20. Uh, Portland going down. Hayden with two. Big, the big fist gets in there with one. Malira, Danny Canal for his first game back, played a blinder, I believe. Brad Kasky, Matty Cole, and Brett McKay. And for old Iggy's, it was Scanlon with four. Manning, Monaghan, and a bunch of others kicking one. And the best players were Depoy, Stevenson, and Boland. So if you have a look, and this is where I believe Portland are going to start to come back. Later on in the year in the A grade, you've got um, guys like Daniel Canal, um, Shane Catterall coming back after having a major knee injury last year. Um, you've also got Tommy Oates there, Kevin Mills, Johnny De Palma, Robert Wilson playing in the reserves as well. Um, so they're going to start to get, to get some more touch and get some more fitness in and they'll come through into the A grade and put some real pressure on some of those guys up top. Um, but I'll tell you what, some of those names I would have loved to have had last year. So they're starting to get to some players back, which is good to see. And now the next game, this one was a close one. Gazer hosted Sacred Heart and a Clemsey Gobo, of course. And it was 12-5-77 to 11-10-76. So maybe one that got away from Sacred Heart in front of the big sticks in the end. But Lamb kicked five. Grundy and Turton kicked two each. And Maroney and Sperling with one. Maroney, Sperling, Grundy were the better players. And for Gazer, you got Bioli with five, Peck with three, McGregor with a couple, and Sadler and Vivian kicking one each. Draper, Oates, and Denman were the better players. That's a great win for Gazer there, actually. Scotch or Collegians hosted Modbury, and as predicted, uh, 22 23, 155 to Scotch or Collegians, two goals straight, 12. Uh, not much more you can say about it really. Um, Archibald and Ineson with the goal, the goal scorers for Scotch with Isaacson, Kelly and Mars and the better players. Modbury, Benbo with 11 which is a great effort. Davey with 4, Knightley with 3, Robinson with 2. And best players were Collins, Warden, Coleman, Giesler and Lynch out there for Modbury. Now looking at the way things sit at the moment, Modbury and Old Ignatian sharing top spots separated by 10%. With nine wins and one loss, Sacred Heart on eight and two, and uh, Foss Camden seven and three, and it's a bit of a drop off there to Broadview on five and five. So that last spot's going to be four between the, you know, we're only at round ten, but I still believe it'll probably only be four between uh, Gazer, Broadview, Smosh, and to a lesser extent Scotch. So that'll be the last one. The top four, I believe, is the way it's going to finish up. Um, so Scotch three and seven, St Peter's with one one win. Portland yet to get a win, sitting at 9.87%, so just above Kilburn. So looking at next week, probably going to get a little bit worse for them, but uh, St. Peter's at host Gazer at Cater Oval. I think Gazer will get the win there. Uh, Modbury and Foscan of Mos Sports Reserve can't go past Modbury at home, definitely not. It's going to be good weather all week, so the Oval won't be in too bad a nick. Portland and Broadview Port Reserves, it always is a hard task to come down to 
to Port Reserve and take on the Thunder, but I think that will only be the case in the A grade. I think Broadview will win, but not um, but not by a hell of a lot. I think it'll be a close game, but Broadview as the aways. Sacred Heart, Old Ignatius at Sacred Heart Middle, Old Iggy's by plenty, uh, Smosh West Lakes and Scott Chalk Collegians. I believe the, den, the guys will be singing the song down at the den and Smosh will get up uh, over the old collies. So that's all we've got time for this week. Make sure you download the Mixler app and listen to the North Haven game being called live from Largs Reserve and subscribe to the football, SA Footballer magazine and we'll catch you again next week.